Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. As you can see, we're starting off in a battle today because I was actually looking for this Tyrogue to catch because I thought, you know what, I could use a throwaway Pokemon for a little while so I'll grab a Tyrogue and just have it evolve into whatever and use it. But then, you know, a Riolu showed up, which someone did tell me there was a small chance of Riolu showing up in this ruin. And so here we are. So I'm going to twist her because I know it'll barely do anything. And I'm going to flail the Tyro because I don't want to get stuck in the rollout and hit the Riolu with rollout when I try and catch him. But we're going to try and catch this Riolu and we're going to have it on the squad until I get a Pokemon that I'll replace it with. I might not even get it up to Lucario status. We'll see. But that is the plan. That did a good amount of damage. I think we twist her again and then defense curl because I don't want to hit this Riolu too much. I don't plan on keeping Riolu in the party for the entire game because I want to get uh, new Megas and Delta Pokemon to make up almost all of my team, if not my entire team. I also leveled up Flappy like once or twice, I think. But yeah, that's the plan. We're going to catch this Riolu. So come here, buddy. I'll throw a Great Ball for Riolu. It's, it's worth a Great Ball, undoubtedly. Stay in there. It's honestly too easy. I don't know how I do it. Alright, we got a Riolu, and it's level 19, too, so we don't even have to worry about level grind to get it any. Hopefully it's got some decent moves. It showed uh, Copycat and something else, Counter, I think. The aura that emanates from its body intensifies to alert others if it is afraid or sad. Alright, I already know what I'm going to name it, too, because I thought ahead and thought of a name before doing it. We're going to name it Vegeta, because that's why I've named my Lucarios before. It shoots aura blasts from its hand. I also have auto run on. Turn that off. It shoots aura blasts from its hands when it evolves, okay? Like, come on. It's got to have a Dragon Ball Z name. And it's blue. Vegeta always wears blue. But all right. So now we have Riolu on the team. So that will definitely help us out against dark types especially. We still have a bit of a problem with fairy types. Unless Bamfy can take on the fairy type. But, I mean, fairy type is like one of the least least populous types, I'm pretty sure, since it's so new. So hopefully we don't have to worry about that too much. I know they added in more fairies with Gen 7, but Gen 7 is not in this game, I'm fairly sure, so we don't have to worry about that. I think this game is just updated to Gen 6, because Burn was still doing 12% damage instead of 6%. I should fast forward this. Actually, I'm going to uh, turn back on Auto Run, and we're going to fast forward back to where we were last time, which was in the cave. So I will hyperspeed really quickly just for that, and then we'll go back to playing normally. In fact, this is this is good enough. Let's go. So Fanfi is level 21. The tables have turned. Fanfi is now our strongest. So I will move you there. We got my boy Vegeta here. He's looking pretty good. Let's check out his stats and stuff. Not going to be on the team forever, but it's good to have him for a while. Naughty, I believe, raises attack and lowers spidef, so it's not great to have our spidef lowered, but I'm glad to have a nature that boosts attack, if nothing else. I actually have 31 defense IVs, perfect defense IVs. The rest of them are kind of trash. At least they're not, like, zero or anything. I mean, spidef is pretty bad, but we already had a minus spidef nature, so it's not a big deal. We do have force palm, which is what I was worried about, was having any good move to hit with. But we do have force palm and faint, I'm pretty sure, uh... Not only does it go through Protect and Detect, but I think it also counts as Priority. So that's good. It's awesome. We have Force Palm, so we have a good move to hit with. Definitely still, Fanfy is number one for getting a nature change, because Speed Up is worthless on Fanfy, pretty much. Especially when it comes with the defense down. But alright, let's get through this cave. I wish I had Rock Climb and Surf. I've missed like two TMs because of not having Surf or Walk. Uh, walk. Rock Climb. I promise I can talk. I've recorded three hours of footage today, so cut me some slack. A lot of people choose one or two types to master and build their teams around. I specialize in rock types. Can you take me down? Absolutely. Did I lead with... I don't think I led with Riolu. I'm pretty sure I'm leading with Critias. I wish I was leading Riolu right now. Yeah, it would actually be amazing to be leading. Well, actually, you know what? Twister works fine here, because you're half dragon. A part of me thought for a second there that Tyrant is only rock, and it evolves into rock dragon, but no, it's also dragon. Whatever it is, he's probably got a Mora then, is his secondary. I'll send in send in my boy Riolu to take care of that. No, it's Kabuto actually, but it still ends up all the same. Get in there, Vegeta. Show him the power of the Prince of All Saiyans. 
Kabuto, you gotta go. I did not mean to open the bag. That was not what I wanted at all in that scenario. But uh, Force Palm him. Easiest 2 KO of my life. Yeah, hard. Good plan. That'll work. What if I had been a special Riolu, Kabuto? Did you think of that? Although Riolu can't learn Aura Sphere, I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken, Riolu evolves through friendship at literally any level. What type do you think is the best? I'm pretty sure it evolves by friendship at any level. So I do... I don't know how long I'm going to have this Riolu, but it would be a good idea... To, there's a magnet right there. It's actually the magnet item. That'd be really good to give to our Ralts later since it's going to be ice electric. I'm so rich, I'm sure I'll own my own kingdom one day. I'll fill it with Pokemon of all types, except maybe ice types. Why is my phone going off? It's always right when I start recording. Every time. Without fail. Let me make sure this isn't important. Alright, hopefully whatever that person needs doesn't matter right now. This is a Jolteon. And since it's an evolved Pokemon, it probably has decent stats, so I need to confuse it. And of course it has Sand Attack, because life hates me. Someone was telling me, by the way, that I should get a Steel-type, because you can trade it for a an Ice-Fighting Delta-type Pokemon later on. But I'm getting Delta Routes, which is Ice Electric, so I don't need a another Ice-type. I don't want two Ice-types. So, I appreciate you giving me the information, but whatever that fighting ice type is, I don't want it. I want Delta Ralts. That was a lot of experience. Holy cow. Flareon! Alright, this is probably not a good idea because it might be able to burn me in some way, but I'm going into Riolu. In hindsight, it's a really bad idea because I should have just gone into Fanfi and clicked Roll Out, but what's done is done. All right, here we go. Force Palm. It does have Ember. That did so much more than I thought. Paralyze it. This is not a para. Uh, there's no way Flappy is going to take two Embers. But it's really important that Vegeta doesn't go down because I need Vegeta's friendship to get up. Don't burn me. Thank goodness. Okay. It's going to outspeed me, but don't burn... Okay, you know what? I actually hate everything, but I hit, so it doesn't matter. I just need to land one more. Come on, one more. One more. Yeah, quick attack. Good plan. Yes, it's too easy. He's probably got a Vaporeon then, given what we've gone through so far. Got Vegeta to level 20. Pretty nice. Apparently, the level cap is higher than level 21, which is good. It's probably like 23 or something. Critius is probably my best bet at taking down this Vaporeon. Honestly, I would have left Flappy in to try and get the level 3 rollout off if I didn't have my accuracy down. But I am going to rely on Confuse Hacks to try and take out this Vaporeon. Is Vaporeon better in Fizdef or Spudef? I think it's more of a Fizdef mon, isn't it? I can't remember. It took, like, no damage there. I'm going to go for a Twister. That did nothing. Literally no damage. What I wouldn't do for a Toxic mon right now. Don't confuse me. Good. Only I get to use Confusion. Get confused. Please hit yourself like three times in a row. I actually hate the fact that all of these evolutions know sand attack. Who thought that was a good idea? I, I don't even know what to say. I'm so upset. Stop going for sand attack. Why? What is your reasoning for this? Oh my goodness. Hit yourself, please. It has not hit itself once in three chances of hitting itself. You have got to be kidding me. I'm actually going to sack Flappy because I refuse to sack Vegeta because I need his friendship up and I need this accuracy drop gone so I can actually get some damage off. I'm going to have to go into Critias and heal and hope that I don't get sand attacked again and hope that maybe for once in this Vaporeon's life it hits itself. I'm like one for five on confusion hits right now against this Vaporeon. I hate it. What is with the hacks against me in this game? Don't you dare. Okay, I'd rather get hit with the water pulse than sand attack at this point in my life. Please hit yourself like just once or twice. 
You have got to be joking. This is the most unconfused Vaporeon I have ever seen. How much does Shadow Sneak do? More than Twister did? Oh yeah, significant actually. I need like three more to take it out. Assuming it never freaking hits itself. We're gonna be stuck in this battle for half of this episode. Oh my word, it actually snapped out. I'm not even gonna confuse it again. I think two more Shadow Sneaks knocks it out, so I'm just going for Shadow Sneak. Yeah, one more will kill, no doubt. I just have to land it. I'm not... I'm not healing. I'm going for the hit. I hit. I'm unstoppable. We are absolutely going back to that healing lady. The Nurse Joy that's in the cave. Thank you, level 21. Screech! What other moves do I have? You know what? I'll actually get rid of Scratch for Screech. I think that's a better idea. How could I lose? I'm rich! You know what, honestly? That's fair. Toggle auto run. And of course, whenever we have to do unnecessary backtracking, I'm going to abuse the super speed option. Pokemon, can you like not though? Do 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 do. What is with all these Sableye? Like, really? Why is it just nothing but Sableye here now? What's going on there? Hello. I would like you to heal my Pokemon, of course. I also want to have Vegeta in front, because he's the lowest leveled, and I need him to get friendship points. And I'm pretty sure that having them at the front of the party helps with that. Or maybe just having them in the party in general helps with friendship. I can't remember. do 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 Magnemite? Hey, you know what? This is actually some easy experience. Battling with them also gives them more. I forgot you got sturdy. I don't know how I forgot this, but yeah, now I'm paralyzed. This is unfortunate. But you're at 1 HP and faint has priority. Yeah. There we go. A little bit of EXP there. Do I have a paralyze heal? Heal words? I don't. I'm not going back to the freaking person. I'll just move uh, Critias in front. We gotta be close to the next city anyways. Which the next city is apparently a grass fire gym. So I guess we're in a decent spot. I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with the grass types really. That's gonna be the biggest issue. Okay, wait a minute, what am I doing? I'm not supposed to be doing that anymore, okay. Most artists choose to paint the mountains and ocean. I think it could be just as beautiful underground as it is up top. You know what? That's absolutely fair. You are right. It can be. All right, artist Mark, what you got? A Smeargle, you say? Really wish that my Riolu hadn't been paralyzed. This would be a good chance for him, but whatever. That really is not a 2 KL. Also, this thing has sticky webs. And it's moody. Lower your, uh, Fizz Depth. Nope. Oh, it did lower your Fizz Depth. But I don't have Scratch anymore, and it lowered your or it upped your Spud app. Excuse me, this thing has Sticky Web Shell Smash? What? Why? With Moody? This is the most broken thing I've ever seen. Oh, that's not your Spadef, that's your Speed. Why did I think that that was Spadef? I'm actually dumb. But if it hits itself, it's as good as dead. I really wish you weren't normal types so that I could hit you with a uh, Shadow Sneak. It, it's Spadef is so low, it dies to a Twister. What move could it possibly have to hit me? Oh, it's Baton Passing. Into another Smeargle. Wait, what? Oh, it lowered its accuracy on Fort. What is happening, though? Call mine. I don't understand what's going on, but it's gonna die to this Twister anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is like the most setup. Smeargle dual team I've ever seen in my life. Oh, you know what? I should have sent in Riolu there. I don't think Moody is supposed to take effect like that. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to switch in and then get a Moody boof, uh, boof, but, but, I can't talk. I'm so confused at this entire scenario. It set up Sticky Webs, got Moody twice, set up, uh, Shell Smash. Baton passed its confusion along with all those stats into the other Smeargold and then died as it set up a Calm Mind. I'm so lost. 
Get set up to sticky webs again? Is its whole moveset, its whole moveset is like Calm Mind, Shell Smash, Baton Pass, Sticky Web? I am lost. I don't know who I just fought, but he needs some help. Ah, oh, work of art, that was a beautiful battle. What did I just witness? This is the weirdest Smeargle set I have ever seen in my life. Especially because it was followed up by another Smeargle. Oh, hello. That makes up for the great ball we had to use on Vegeta. There is nothing over here, apparently. All right, well, just a nice big little lake here. Cool little underground lake. How's it going, Magnemite? What I wouldn't do for a single ground-type move on my ground-type Pokemon. Any kind of stab would be appreciated. I get Slam at, like, level 23 or 24 for Flaffy, or Flaff, Flaffy. That's not the Pokemon that I'm looking at right now. On Fanfy. And then I evolve into Dawnfan at 25, and I don't know what Dawnfan's learn set is. I didn't look that up. Hokohita, how's it going, man? It's been real. See you later. Oh! The cave actually links to the city. Well, okay. Suntouch City has multiple levels. One is on the ground, and the other is way up in the clouds. You can use the fan to travel between the levels. That sounds incredibly dangerous. Are you here to challenge the gym? You'll have to go to the cloud layer to do that. Just hop on the fan there. I promise it's perfectly safe. I don't believe you. Orion's a very tricky gym leader to face. He's supposed to be a fire type leader, but that's not the only type I've seen him use. Now, do you mean he uses fire and grass, or does he use more than those two? Because I was expecting just those two. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I would. I don't know why I even read that out. It's like the most common thing of all time. All right. Well, the heck are these? Oh, they're probably beams that are holding up the upper half of the city because they said it's two levels. I don't know how they let Orion lead the city's gym. He talks to rocks in his spare time. Don't hate, man. The dude do what he wants. Here's Pika Taxi Guy. I don't know if I need to talk to you or not to like activate you, but... I just want to make sure that I can use you whenever. Let's see here. What are you doing? I once heard there was someone in Helios City who sells an item that lets you evolve Pokemon that evolve by trading. I went to Helios City to evolve my Haunter, but I couldn't find the guy. He must have been underground. It's a very nice item to have exist. You need the thermal badge to cross water. That means that if you want to travel to the south, you'll have to beat our gym leader first. All right, so we have to go across the river now, and we get surf from this. Nice. This pond here, unused by most. Before the auger came, many of us used it as a wishing well of sorts. We would throw money in and hope for a better future, but ever since that statue's been up, not a single coin has touched the surface of the water. Why does the statue being there stop you from using it as a wishing well, though? That big red and black building is the subway station. I heard it can take you to any region in the entire world. I'm saving up for a trip to Hoenn. Ooh, or maybe Sinnoh. Or Aroma. What is Aroma? I'm sorry, but the Pokemon subway station is currently cord cordoned off to the public. Okay. There's no way this guy actually... Like, this game surely doesn't have all of the other regions in it, I would think. Certain Pokemon need a stone to evolve. A Moonstone will allow you to evolve certain Pokemon like Clefairy. Oh, hello. Thank you for that. I hope that helps you. I doubt it will, but I'm glad to have it either way. Would you be interested in helping me out with something? What is it? Oh, that's wonderful. You see, I've been trying to maintain the flower patch on the upper layer of the city, but it's an absolute nightmare. Something keeps getting in and wreaking havoc all over it. Destruction everywhere. I don't know what it is, and I wouldn't be able to stop it if I did. I'm no trainer. Do you think you could help me out? Yeah, man. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll meet you up in the garden. All right. Well, we have some kind of a side quest going on. Suntouch City is the media center of the region. From here, we make movies and broadcast TV shows all over the region. That's nice. My favorite Pokemon is Jigglypuff. If you show me one, I'll give you something cool. There's no way I'm going to go catch a Jigglypuff for you. Actually do not have the time. As an artist, it's my duty to capture all the different colors of life into my portrait. Art truly is beautiful. I personally think art is an explosion. My husband is a world-famous archaeologist. I don't mean to brag, but he's good friends with Professor Sylvan as well. That's cool. I heard that many years ago there was a song that, when played, could change the laws of the universe itself. Unfortunately, the song was lost long ago. As an archaeologist, seeing those notes and hearing the song would be a dream come true. I don't know what that reference is. Does that have something to do with the time flute? Or with uh, whatever fluted the Azura flute? Is that the flute that summons Arceus in Gen 4? I can't remember. Ah, are you a trainer? Every trainer should be ready for the world around them. Here, take these, a gift from me. Ooh, friend balls. Thank you. 
I hate the indoors music still. Just because it's so short and then restarts entirely. I heard someone in Mechie Town was selling secret bases. You can sell secret bases. If I could afford one, I would be all over that. Good for you. I've been studying Pokemon breeding, specifically the breeding of the Togekiss line. If you show me a Togepi, maybe I could give you something in return. All these people wanting me to show them Pokemon for random reasons. You shouldn't worry about using Pokemon that are considered stronger or weaker. No matter how bad a Pokemon I've seen, there's always... There's almost always a clever and unique way to use it. Says you. Unlike other regions, you don't need HMs to get around Torin. Items will do the trick just fine, and for HMs like Rock Smash and Strength, other normal moves can be used for the same purpose. I do like that. This is a very good idea. Did I go in these two houses already? Can I even get to them? Yeah, I can. Did I go in here already? No, I don't think so. It's great to have creatures like Pokemon to serve us. Hey, Machop, hurry up with that sandwich or I'll throw you in the hole again. What? The chop is too tired to speak. This man is horrible. Can I, like, have my Fanfy kill this man? He deserves to suffer. This is the worst person I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. I don't know why people make fun of Orion for having a friend other people can't see. It's totally normal. Yeah, sure. That statue of the Augur in the north of town was built up just a couple of months ago. It's amazing how they got something up that fast. Tip. Is that... Is that an innuendo? I've been living in Suntouch City for a year or two now. It's so beautiful. I'm so glad I came. Is that another innuendo? When they said darker storyline, they weren't kidding. Alright, well, let's go, like, get on this van over here and see where that leads. I mean, obviously, it's going to lead to the other part of town, but let's see how it goes. Ooh. Alright, this is pretty cool. Yo, you want some of this? I guess I do. Keep that safe now, alright? <laughs> what, was that a drug deal that I just participated in? Isn't it disappointing that being burned cuts your physical attack, but nothing happens when you're poisoned? That seems a bit unfair towards physical attackers, doesn't it? Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't want to have to worry about my special attack being halved, so, you know. What's this about? Thank you so much for agreeing to help me out with this. This little demon has been coming in every night and destroying my flowers. I've had to replant them every day. And it only appears when nobody's watching. Okay, we need to find a way to lure it here. Huh, do you think if we had some honey, we could maybe entice it to visit? Pokemon like honey, right? I think maybe if we had some honey, we'd be able to find it. Why don't you go have a look? I heard there might be some honey on Route 3. So I gotta go to Route 3 and get some honey and then come back here. I, I just talked to you. Why am I talking to you again? I don't know. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hello. The director in the broadcast tower was looking for some help with field work. If you're looking for something to do, I'm sure you'd appreciate it. All right. Oh, this music. Why? I heard that Lucario can read your mind by looking at your aura. Is it just me or is that really creepy? I wouldn't want any Lucario trainer anywhere near me. <laughs> That's actually completely fair. Hello there. Have you ever heard of the pledge moves? Oh, yeah. I can only teach you to a few Pokemon, but the moves have an interesting effect. When used together, amazing things will happen. Can you teach Fire Pledge to this Charmander? Or Charmeleon? Ah, oh, no! Delta Charmeleon can't learn it. The Pledge moves are only learned by the starters, right? Isn't that how it works? I was really hoping that Delta Charmeleon could get a Fire-type move right there. Orion's a freaking weirdo. <laughs> they say he's best friends with the Rock. That talks. These guys are so mean. Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Natu for a Butterfree. I would probably take that trade if I ever had a Butterfree. You want to talk to me? Sorry, I only talk to real trainers. Excuse you. Do you not see this fanfy? I'm the realest there is. One of the first things the second Augur did when he came to power was build that huge statue on the lower layer. How disgusting. A monument to ego. Back in my day, we never would have dreamed of such a thing. Especially not here in Suntouch City. This would be the place you'd expect that kind of arrogance. The least. That's fair. Orion may be young, but don't underestimate him. He's one tough gym leader. I heard his team isn't only based on the fire type, but around the ability of one of his Pokemon. Around the ability of one of... Oh, no. Does he have a sun team? Is it grass fire with one of his Pokemon has drought? This is really cool, actually, these particle effects. I bet he has, like, a Vulpix or a Ninetales or something, or a Torkoal. He sets up drought at the start of the fight, and he's got a bunch of chlorophyll Pokemon, like Ivysaur or something. That fan is really, really dangerous. I'm surprised nobody has been injured using it. That's what I'm saying, man. How do I get back down? Do I just jump right here? Apparently so. Okay, that, that doesn't seem likely, but whatever. Let's go check out the broadcast tower. I don't want to fight the gym today, so let's keep looking around for, like, I got about another five minutes. Might be the first video that I wrap up at 30 minutes instead of, like, eight minutes late. Hello, welcome to the Sun Touch City broadcast tower. It's from here we can broadcast news and information to all over the world. Very nice. We're starting up a new program about rare Pokemon. We're hoping to feature legendaries, Delta species, and maybe even shinies. I got a Delta. 
If you're interested, I heard the boss upstairs was looking for interns to do field work. It's some program on Rare Pokemon. I'm sure they'll appreciate the help. Okay. I just got a job here at the Broadcast Tower. I want to run my own program that teaches people how to battle. I think it'll be fun to watch and a good source of money for me. Follow your dreams, man. Hey, you're not allowed back here. This is where the boss of the Broadcast Tower works. You shouldn't disturb him. He's busy. Unless, are you a trainer? The boss is looking for trainers, you see. We're trying to start a new challenge based around rare Pokemon, but we need a trainer to make it happen. That, like, do you have to ask if I'm a trainer? Do you not see this fanfy following me around? If you are, we can make you a star. It pays well, and you, ke you can keep any Pokemon you catch. If you're going on an adventure, it won't interfere with that. It'll be like a side job you can help out with from time to time. Are you willing to help? Yeah, man. Excellent, I'll take you to see the boss, then. All right. This kid seems to be your trainer, boss. He said he's willing to help you out with the new channel. Did he now? What's your name? Very well then, Chaos. I'm going to make you a star. We start filming the pilot episode right away. Let's begin. Excuse me? Oh, what the heck? So here's the deal, Chaos. You want to be a movie star? A hero? We heard reports of a rare Pokemon in the area. Axu or something. Dude, I want an Axu. To be honest, we couldn't care less. Ah, but I've already got a dragon ghost type. I don't need another dragon. The problem is we've been through the grass tons of times and we couldn't find any. We've got the helicopters everywhere in the area. This is a little excessive for finding an Axu. All you need to do is to use your skills as a trainer to find an Axu and battle it. You can kill it, capture it, or whatever. Just battle it. We need footage. And a tip. I recommend you don't move around too much. Maybe just wait in a certain spot and look for rustling. Oh, do they have the, uh, okay. So here's the deal. I think I am going to catch the Axu because I know there's a Mega Haxorus. And I've already seen it because it was on the creator's Twitter. He uh, showed it when they were getting close to the release of the game. And Mega Haxorus actually looks amazing. And I don't know. I'd never keep it over Critias, though. I don't know. Because I don't want two dragon types. And I really don't want to, like, have more than six Pokemon because I have the layout and all, and I don't want to have to be messing around with the layout repeatedly if I, like, switch out more than six Pokemon. So I think I will just find it and kill it. Unfortunately. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. So what, get in the grass and then wait for the rustling? I don't remember how to do this. I never did this when they added in this function. Like, when did they add this? In Gen 6, where you, like, had the rustling grass? There it is. It's gone, though. Rustling grass, come on. Work with me here. Do I need to, like, be standing still to get rustling grass to start up? Or do I need to move, or what? You can't really do, like, the tiptoeing thing that you did in Gen 6. You can only walk normally, or run. There it is. It's gone, though. I don't understand how to do this. It always pops up right there, so let's do this. Hello? No? Not there? Okay. Maybe you just need to, like, take baby steps, move bit by bit, not to uh, keep moving. Uh, it's gone. What the heck? I'm going to wait right here to see if it pops up again. And then just step right into it. Come on. Ah, got it. I'm actually unstoppable. Hey, Axu. How's it going, buddy? Ah, you're level 22. Ah. This is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. I mean, I guess I could get it and keep it until I eventually boot it out of the party, but I'm not going to want to boot out a Haxorus, because Haxorus is such a good Pokemon. Ah. It's going to be so easy to catch, too. It only takes two Shadow Sneaks to put it in a good range. I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping that I would get a crit there so the game would make the decision for me. Uh-huh. I don't want two dragon types, but Haxorus is so awesome, and he has a Mega in this game. I'm, I'm catching it. Whatever. Let's just... Let's catch it. I wish I had had these friend balls before I caught Riolu, because they would have been perfect for Riolu. Because I need his friendship up. I don't know what to name this, I've just realized. Oh, no. What have I done to myself? 
I have to name something on the fly. No. They mark their territory by leaving gashes in trees with their tusks. If a tusk breaks, a new one grows in quickly. That's nice. Ah, uh, what am I going to name this thing? I actually have no idea what to name this. Why do I do this to myself? All right, you know what? I'm going to do this. Devastating. No, I can't spell devastating. I was going to call it devastating for devastating Drake. I'm like literally short one thing. No. You know what? Let's call it Deva. Deva kind of sounds like a female name. Why not? There you go, Deva. Yo, Chaos, we got that on tape. Come back over here. Oh, I have to. I thought it was going to move me on its own. Whoops. Well, we have an Axu now. I don't know how long Axu's going to stay in the party, but we're going to have it for at least a while. Eventually, I'll have to decide between it and Critias, and I'm pretty sure I'm always going to pick Critias. I don't know. We'll worry about it later. It's good to have another Pokemon now anyways to help us with the gym leader. We caught that battle on Footage Chaos. You were fantastic. Great work. We're going to head back to the base now. Here's your reward straight from the boss itself. <laughs> 2K, okay. All right, let's head. What? <laughs> Keep an eye on TVs to see if the pilot ever ends up airing. And we'll give you a call on your Pokegear if we need any more help, okay? All right, sure. Seems like a good way to get rare Pokemon, I guess. Well, we have Axu now. I don't know for how long, but it's at least going to help us out with this first gym. I don't know, maybe I'll make an exception, like, once we get further into the game, I'll, like, switch Critias and... I'll switch Critias and, uh, Deva back and forth, maybe? Just to, like, switch around my grass types? But I don't want to, like... With having the Pokemon in the layout and all, it'd be really annoying to switch the Pokemon out consistently, because I'd constantly be changing the layout. Which really isn't that much of an annoyance, but it's a small one. I can deal with it. Calm nature, that's actually complete garbage. I've, a I've found a Pokemon that needs a nature change more than Fanfy. Also, it has the worst IVs I have ever seen. 18 speed IVs actually isn't completely horrible, but still. Uh, it's got Dragon Rage, that's really gonna help us out with this gym, because Dragon Rage, think Dragon Rage, like, yeah, Fl uh, Flappy here has a high HP stat. It's at level 21 and it can still be two at KO'd by Dragon Rage. So, we should be able to two or three hit KO, like, every Pokemon that we run into with Dragon Rage. Probably two hit KO. But alright, that's good. Let's... Let's go heal up and then call it a day. Because I am a little bit over in half an hour. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to level grind off screen. I don't know what level I need to be for this coming gym. Probably, like, I don't know. The level cap is higher than 21, because I thought it would just go, like, 19, 21. It's got to be, like, around 23. I might just try and find the level cap with, like, one of the Pokemon, and then level the others up near it. I'm trying to get everyone to, like, level 22 or 23, at least. What level would the gym leader be? Like, gym leader have, I don't know, like, a level 24 for his ace? That sounds about right. Maybe a 25 or something? I don't know. Given that the levels of Pokemon we've been running into, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I was about to say I can quick save with V. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We made it to Sun Touch City. We got two more Pokemon in the team for how long? No one knows, but for a while at least. Uh, we'll take on the Sun Touch Gym next time. I'll level up the Pokemon a little bit off screen to help with that. And hopefully we can get through it with little trouble. So I'll see you all then. And until that time, farewell.